My name is Feli Walsho. I'm the president of Nigerian Student Union, Cyprus International University. Happy Independence Day to all Nigerians. On this day, we celebrate our independence from colonization. We celebrate our grandfathers and our great-grandfathers who thought it wise that we rule and administer ourselves. No longer, were British, no longer were our affairs going to be dictated by British colonialists, but by the indigenous citizens of Nigeria. We as Nigerians, led by ourselves with a simple goal, to chart a course that will assure the greater prosperity for all of our citizens. Now, 57 years later, after four republics, coups that have left bullet-ridden cars, a civil war that had ended the lives of over a million people, and elections that have brought both hope and despair. This generation is beginning to have a new conversation about the wisdom of unity and the state of our nation. As agitations rise across the country, we have become more pessimistic. This is neither new nor surprising. Around the world, nations are having similar conversations. Winds of sovereignty blow across nation states as countries begin to exit previous unions while we consider the advantages of individuality. Our grandfathers had a choice to divide this country. Each region could have fought for its independence separate from the rest. However, they chose to fight and stand together and would only accept terms when every region was satisfied. For they knew the age-old wisdom, a broomstick on its own is easily broken, but a broomstick in a bunch will only bend. We should keep the wisdom of our grandfathers and stay together as a united Nigeria. Because even though the origin of our country is not of our making or decision, truly at our core we want the same things. Food that tastes good and smells even better. A place we can sleep, we can call home. Clothes we can wear on our backs and we can show off. To do greater than our parents and have them live longer and healthier to reap the fruits of their labor. These needs will not change over religion, culture, or anything that seeks to divide us. Here in Cyprus, we understand the strength of unity because the majority of our experiences are not a function of tribe, religion, or culture. When rent goes up, it doesn't go up for Muslim and leave out the Christian. It goes up for us all. When the currency depreciates, it doesn't make life easier for any of us. When landlords hold us to ransoms of a year and more, no tribe or religion or culture is left unscathed. We all share in the same faith. While it is important to emphasize the unity and the strength of our diversity as a country, Nigeria, it will be naive to forget all our failings. We have abandoned the creed of our forebearers and each society appears to have left a worse society than the generation before them. The wealth of our nation has not spread to the majority, and more and more of our populations lack the opportunity to go up the ladder of success. We cannot correct the failings of the past, but in this generation, we can begin to build a better society. A society more tolerant of our diverse religions that shuns tribalism and nepotism, provides for the poorest amongst us, and cares for the most vulnerable. A society with so many opportunities that every citizen is only limited by the height of their imagination. Moving Nigeria from a third world to a first world. This will not happen easily, nor will it happen quickly, but through unity and the appreciation of our diversity, we can build a stronger, better country, Nigeria. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.